hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna talk about dark circles i'm talking about under eye bags i'm talking about hyperpigmentation around the eyes because i really struggled with that it was like my biggest insecurity growing up I absolutely hated it it's the reason why i was like wearing makeup every single day now i feel like i have the best routine um slash remedies slash products that tackle that so if you guys want to know how i did that please keep watching i will definitely put photos in this video that shows my before and my timeline of like dark darkest dark circles to now so yeah yes the root cause of my dark circles were stress dehydration yeah lack of sleep i want to say because all this hyperpigmentation started to really affect me when i was at uni and at uni i was not sleeping right i was not eating right i was just constantly stressed because you know how uni is guys um so yeah we know the drill <laughs> so that's probably where it kind of all started to kick off so now i've got products that really have helped me get to this point that i'm at i mean i do still have hyperpigmentation under my eyes like i can definitely see it uh, but it is much better than it was before i'm gonna put up some pictures here here somewhere on the screen that shows how my skin looked before under my eyes like it was it was very very bad my number one tip to people that are trying to lighten their hyperpigmentation around their eyes is look at your lifestyle and your water intake that's what helped me i realized that i was too stressed out so i kind of lowered my stress levels tried to lower my stress levels obviously sometimes it does get up here but i do try and keep it down here and then lack of sleep as well i tried to get at least like seven to eight hours of sleep compared to the four that's pretty good um and then also dehydration so trying to do the two liters of water a day guys so i try and drink like two of these a day and things like using the bottle to track your water intake really does help i know that sounds crazy but before i used to try drinking like eight glasses of water a day to equate to the two liters and i was just like lose track of like how much water i was drinking so i would end up under drinking and then it would just kind of like it's like an effort to count and remember the glasses so if i know that i'm at least drinking two of these i'm set so yeah that's probably what i recommend doing okay so aside from lifestyle and um genetics and things like that you do have products available to you that help i'm going to talk about the products that helped me guys um this is not going to work for everyone but it helped me a lot so to start off my routine i use this cerave foaming cleanser this cleanser guys is absolutely incredible it's so good for textured skin if you've got rough and bumpy textured skin this is great it gave me such a good base for um my other products because obviously it does smooth out the skin it's got salicylic acid in it which is an acid that is key for textured skin so i would definitely recommend this foaming cleanser So I've just rinsed my face, this is how it's looking, um, yeah I love how this cleanser leaves my skin looking. So then I realised that I need some kind of brightening agent, um, I used to use Aztec Healing Clay which was great, it was amazing, it was fabulous and it still is fabulous but it didn't target my dark circles my hyperpigmentation i needed a mask that had an ingredient a natural ingredient that could tackle that and i found this it is a clay mask that has turmeric inside of it guys turmeric turmeric i don't know if i'm saying it right yeah so turmeric is an amazing product guys for brightening it is a natural agent and it is very very good and it's helped me um what i did start off by doing was instead of using a clay mask i would literally get turmeric honey and put it under my eyes for 20 minutes and i did that every day and it did really help so i thought do you know what let me get that in a mask and see what happens
so the reason why i picked this item let's start with that it's obviously got turmeric in it which is an amazing 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 product a natural product for skin brightening it's used in all parts of the world like mainly india and stuff they use it for brightening the skin so i thought that was excellent i just genuinely was like oh that's good because i've used turmeric masks before like ones that i've made myself and they've worked for me so i thought okay this is in a mask let's see how that works and then it has this ingredient called willow bark and I was quite unfamiliar with this product until I realised it's also a substitute for salicylic acid which goes hand in hand with this cleanser because it's salicylic acid cleanser it's a natural exfoliant so I was really happy with that I thought I want to keep things natural I want to use natural products and stuff like that so when I found this mask I was very very happy and it has worked wonders so now that 20 minutes have been up I'm gonna go rinse my face once again and then get to part step part three <laughs> Right, so this is how my skin is looking. Um, I've just air dried it after rinsing it and I do absolutely like the glow it gives my skin. Um, this mask definitely is the one that did change all for me. Um, sometimes what I used to do is I used to literally apply it only to my under eyes until I realised that it was actually brightening it really quickly. So I started using it as a whole face mask. After this is done, I go in with my moisturiser. Um, this Avena one, this is the one that I've always used. It's a daily moisturising. It is natural. It is so good. It's very 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 hydrating i think that is the key to eliminating darkness around the eyes sometimes your skin just needs moisture so then what i do next is i go in with a serum i use this niacinamide and zinc serum um but the difference is i'm not just applying it to my skin um i mean i am just applying it to my skin what am i talking about but i'm also gonna add an extra layer onto my under eyes because my semide is also very good for dark circles it's a serum that is added to a lot of eye creams so yeah okay but the difference now is i'm gonna add a little layer to my under eyes but i'm trying not to make the pipette touch my skin because that is something you should avoid doing because it goes back into the serum so you can just contaminate it um but yeah i just add like an extra layer underneath like so so the next product that i'm very very excited to introduce this is the product that changed the game for me is this eye cream from botanics again so it is the same brand from the face mask so they go hand in hand which i was really happy about and the best thing about this eye cream is it has rose hip oil in it um if you guys don't know much about rose hip oil let me put you on i'm gonna put down some benefits here i want to just put it on the screen so you guys can kind of read that but briefly i will say that it's good for scarring it's good for wrinkles it's good for dark spots it's good for hyperpigmentation it's a fast absorbing oil as well so it won't leave your skin oily but this is an eye cream so it is just for the under eyes so this is how i use it I just apply a little bit here, a little bit here, and I literally just blend that in. Use this product for mm, i want to say six months 
five to six months um i got it the same time i got the face mask so yeah i want to say like six months um and i've been using it day and night um yeah and it has done great now last but definitely definitely not least um is sunscreen you want to apply sunscreen you guys like it really doesn't matter how bright the sun is outside or how it's hiding under the clouds like guys you really do need sunscreen and i wish i knew this a few years down the line because i genuinely did not use sunscreen at all um it was shocking to like i don't know who told me that i didn't need sunscreen but i just didn't have the idea of like using sunscreen ever in my life um so yeah <laughs> sunscreen is very important um so what i do is i use a two finger rule and i just apply this and this literally just two fingers of sunscreen and apply that onto my face so this is how it's all looking it's all blended in it's not giving a cast it's literally all blended in nicely um i'm gonna come a little bit closer so you guys can properly see but yeah <clears throat> it's a great sunscreen and it is like good because it does the job and yeah it doesn't leave a white cut so i feel like i couldn't ask for more so yeah guys that is literally all i do to my skin to um eliminate my dark circles my hyperpigmentation this video was kind of like an all-around general video for hyperpigmentation 